How's it going everybody? My name is Dave Whipple and you're watching Bush Radical. Welcome back to the Alaska Cabin Project. You can see I've made it back into Alaska, back to my cabin property. And the place is a giant disaster. So this year we're going to build a shower house, we're going to build a storage shed. But the first thing I need to do right now is hook up the sink that we installed last year. It's gonna be a very, very, very simple setup. So the first thing's first, here's the sink. If you look down here under the sink, you see this pipe that we installed in the last episode. Uh, this is a just a two-in-one pipe. Drains both sinks down into a single outlet. From this outlet down, we're gonna use this inch and a half ABS pipe. So what we need to go from, I believe it's inch and an eighth outlet pipe to the uh, inch and a half ABS is uh, this adapter. I love these kind of adapters because they're they're simple, they're long-lasting, they work. Make sure that that is on there fully and tighten it down. Very practical. I like this. At this point what I need to do is I need to get the measurement from this pipe to drop down through the floor below the floor joists come into this 90 degree rubber coupler and be ready to make that transition out underneath the floor on the outside of the building. How I'm gonna do this is pretty simple. I'm just gonna measure from the floor up to about how high that pipe is gonna come inside the coupler. Looks like it's gonna come up almost 19 inches. So when this pipe goes up through the floor and this coupler is underneath the floor, I want the top of the exit pipe to be right below the floor joist level. So I'm gonna measure from the top of this up 19 inches, and then I'm gonna add another eight inches for the floor joist, and I'm gonna add another three quarter inches for the subfloor. And that should give me the right length of pipe. So from right here, I'm gonna say, right there looks to be 19 inches. From that 19 inch mark, I'm going to add another eight inches for the rough cut floor joists. I also have another three quarters of an inch of subflooring that it needs to pass through. 19, another eight would make 27, and three quarter would be 27 and three quarter. I'll go ahead and give this a quick trim up, just to make sure there are no burrs that snag up in that coupler. All right, that feels pretty good. Now what I'll do is drill my hole through the bottom. I'll remove my 90 degree coupler. Put that pipe down through the floor. I'm gonna make sure that the ABS is all the way up in there. And then tighten this clamp. Okay, here we are up underneath the subfloor. Here's where my pipe is dropped down. And if my measurements were correct, which they should be, when I put this elbow on here, the, uh, the top of the elbow should be pretty much flush with the bottom of the floor joist. That way the pipe can exit the building and when I go to insulate this floor, it'll be out of the way. Here's a view from the side. Looks like it's uh, just about right. I'm gonna hook the exit pipe up to that. So I'm just gonna take a chunk of tie wire and make myself a cradle. So the first thing I'll do here, I'll take my ABS and uh, feed it into my coupling. Doesn't have to be perfect, it just needs to be in the ballpark. And then just resting my ABS on my shoulder, I'll run a chunk of tie wire through this floor joist. Put a couple twists in it and nip off the excess. Perfect. There's a view of the pipe off the corner of the house. Gray water is just going to run down the sink when I pull the drains. And it's going to exit that pipe. And that's going to be the uh, gray water system. Last thing I have to do here is just tighten up my, my elbow. And that's pretty much it. So there you see the finished product. The pipe exits through the floor, goes out our 90, out to the outside, and comes up to meet this uh, rubber clamp adapter, and right into the two sink bowls. Now I'm all set up to do my dishes indoors as opposed to outside like I've been doing since we started this project. Now once I've washed my dishes, and maybe made some hot water for cleaning the counters and stuff, I can just dump it down the sink, and it will find its way out of the cabin through the pipe, and drain into the soil. 
Every single farmhouse in America had one of these things for 200 years. It's a fantastic way to deal with stuff that's organic water and wash water and stuff like that. And uh, of course we have an outhouse for everything else. I need to run to town to get myself a set of drain stoppers because I don't have them. And at that point this will be a pretty much fully functional sink. Everything there is to clean is easier to clean when you have a sink handy. Then when everything's cleaned up and you drain your sink, or in this case dump your water, it runs right out of the pipe outside and harmlessly down into the soil. Now I've spent a lot of my adult life living in log cabins and a lot of times off grid. A gray water drain sink like this is such a luxury. A uh, farmhouse has had these things for hundreds and hundreds of years. There's another variation on this I've used in several cabins over the years and that is to substitute the drain pipe just for a five gallon bucket. So you can wash your dishes, wash your hands, uh, food prep and stuff like that and the water drains from the sink just down into the bucket. And of course when the bucket's full you take the bucket outside and dump it. And you always have to remember to dump it because if you don't it'll just overflow. A gray water drain like this you never have to think about it other than the winter because you need to dump all your water at one time. If you're just trickling little bits of water at a time, eventually the pipe will freeze up. So if you guys are interested in off-grid cabins and you've been following this series and you would like to maybe have an off-grid cabin at some point in time, I hope this is an idea that you can use for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Alaska Cabin Project. My name is Dave Whipple and you've been watching Bush Radical. Don't forget to sub and like and be radical, eh? See you soon.